going to show you how to add a patron to Destiny. Um, so you're going to start off by heading to Admin. And once you are in Admin, you're going to find the little tab that says Add a New Patron. You're going to click on that. Um, I'm going to name uh, my student. Uh, first name, I'm going to give them a test. And student is going to be their last name. Um, in our district, we have a district ID number, which is um, related to their uh, pictures. So their picture also has that same ID number. So when that number gets put in there and my tech person goes to download the images, there is a match for that. We put in a grad year, which is usually um, the full, you know, if they're 2000. 24, it will say 2024. Our grade level um, is in there by uh, 0, 04 or 0, 03 type of thing. Um, in this section over here is where you're going to put their username. So in our district, um, we use their, their username, which is a configuration of their grad year and their um, first and last names. Uh, but I'm just going to put my username in as test.student. And I'm going to put a password in here, a matching password down here. So that's easy to take care of. Um, if your students have an email or your teachers have an email, um, you want to put that in here. We have used for the barcode this section, like I told you before, the username. We have used a combination of their grad year and their name. Um, we are no longer using that, so we are now using sign the next barcode number. Um, this is a student. Um, I could have picked that they were a staff, and I do have some students that have where they're not allowed to check out DVDs. We still have DVDs. Um, and so they're not allowed to check them out. So they're in a different category so that I can control what they can check out since we do use some um, self-checkout. Um, they are also then in the active category. And I could pick a homeroom. We have lots of different homerooms, but I'm going to show you how to create a new homeroom. So we're going to click on Other. So I realized when I was creating this video that um, I had my school teacher's emails up on, on here when I was creating this section. So that's why this section looks a little different. I ended up using a Google slide um, to show you that once you click on that other, that you will type in the homeroom name and then you will click save. Um, and then uh, that will allow you to create that homeroom that you need to add. And then um, after I have that, I can go back into here. And now I have a Hayden in there and I can stick that there. Um, we have where our third and fourth grade and some of our younger grades we have multiple sections, and so we split up a class if we need to, and sometimes a student is in a split class, and so we'll put that teacher's name there in case we need that. Um, that's another setting that can be I can show later. Um, so then in the end, I'm just going to click Save, and I have my patron. It says, oh, this username was a... Well, it says its username was assigned to somebody else. So we're going to change um, our test student name. And we are going to just name them um, book student. And then I will probably have to change their username because I probably have the same. And we will change it to book student. So that way you were able, you can see that if you use a username or a, a name of a patron twice, you may have to come up with a different solution. So we'll click a save 
and now this person is saved. Um, so now if I wanted to do um, go to my circulation tab and I can go by homeroom and then I can go down here and I can look for Hayden and I can click here and select and here is my book student and I can open up their account and see what they have out. Um, so that's what it looks like.